I, I can't really give you too much sympathy. Oh, oh when you, you know come what I here, hate? Mike, you're going to see this shit constantly. People just darting in the middle of the fucking road. Um, I'm used to that. There's a lot of deer up here. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the other thing I hate are bike riders. All those people can burn in hell. No, I'm with you on that. They always have a fucking attitude. They always have an attitude, and they always ride like two or three across in the middle of the fucking road when they're not supposed to. You mean like actual bikes or like uh, motorcycles? No, like like actual like pedal bikes. Oh. I'm not talking about like motorcycle guys. They're usually okay. They just go through. They're just loud. Yeah, but like, the guy, the cyclists, they can all go fuck off. Oh, go yeah, ride an exercise bike in a fucking gym. Th they this reminds me a, of um, a bicycle lane in the middle of the fucking road once. Where I used to live in in Sarasota. That is so it dangerous. And it exactly the way they had to remove it. I think it was like maybe a month it lasted, and they had to remove it because there were multiple accident homicide yeah, accidents. Yeah, no, yeah, no. You're supposed to fucking ride your bike on the side of the road, not in the middle of it. Yeah, See, like, yeah uh, it wasn't uh, the uh, poor bike rider's fault. As, as being part of like a, a bicycle country, like we we have a, a fuck ton of like bike paths, and they are all on the side of the road. There's like an extra bit of the road that's blocked off simply just to use the bikes on. No, I I, yeah, I imagine somebody somebody that decided that just really really hated bikes, just really hated them. We we have that too. We have like a section of the road that's marked off for people to ride bikes. It's usually like two or three feet out from the curb. God damn it, Cham. <laughs> I'm not, uh, I mean that—that's gotta be a catch. If somebody, if somebody could make a shirt that just says that, like having Mike's icon in the goddamn it, jam. I know, right? Yeah, me. well, because he was trying, he was just trying to call me. Um, but uh, no, but the thing here is that they, because th the thing is, is that when they ride bikes, they love to talk to each other while they're riding the bikes. So they can't ride single file because then they can't talk to each other. So what they'll do most of the time is they'll ride two or three across or in a gang completely in the center of the lane. That we don't so have. They completely block the lane. And what? then when you honk on them, they look like they look at you like you're doing something wrong. All right, you officially win this one because I've never seen that here. We've seen we've have we have a lot of motorcycle groups that that you know will be together, but they usually yeah, know but what that's they're a doing. Well, but that's the difference, too, is that motorcycles actually travel the fucking speed limit. You can't, unless you're riding on, like, a 20-mile-an-hour road, you are not traveling the speed limit in a fucking bicycle. No. Okay. Uh, you want to see something funny? You have to see a bunch of mopeds. That shit gets hysterical. I've seen a moped gang, and I, it's, it's so hard not to laugh at that shit when they're going down the that is that, that sounds like... The most pathetic thing I've ever heard of. It literally is. I was walking and I'm like, because this is when I first started losing the weight. And I'm like, well, I feel like I'm only like five pounds compared to these fat fucks. And they're they're like, they're talking down to everyone they're passing. Like there's some big macho group and they pass by the, um, what was it? Um, it's, it's not the veterans place. It's uh, the Shriners. You're passing by the Shriners place, and I, 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 because I used to live next to a Shriners place, and uh, one of my favorite dudes was chilling outside. He's in like a, he's in a wheelchair, and he's a World War II veteran, and he just starts shit talking these guys, and it was the funniest thing to see this old man just shit talking these guys left and right, calling them fat fucks and other things like that, and they couldn't, they were, they were going to say something to him, and they saw that he had like, he has the the hat on that says what he is and stuff, so they couldn't say shit to him. And you could tell they wanted to. And I'm just laughing my ass off. And I go past and he goes, how's my pretty little senorita going? And they just turn and they were so pissed he was nice to everybody else. But he was just <laughs> throwing insults left and right at them. Because I, I used to it. open the door for him like um, when he wanted to go inside and stuff like that. Because not an asshole. Yeah, so, yeah that, that, that like, sense of entitlement people, so some people just get. Dude was it's from World War II. He can have all the entitlement he wants. You know, I, I was talking about like your people. Oh yeah, I know the, the, the fucking like... the the big tough scooter gang. <laughs> they even had leather it's, jackets. It's like, it was great. <laughs> like when fucking my, when my my grandma was was still alive, she's also kind of a veteran. Like she wasn't in, in the army, but she was a nurse during the, during the war. So I think she's like served the. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she was an, uh, a nurse. Like she didn't give a flying fuck. Like it, it got to the point, like it, it, because she got to a point where she couldn't really walk anymore. So instead, she would just call like the the grocery store and like like order a bunch of shit for them to deliver to her. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Yeah. 
But um, and like it, it, and she, she would always and this is like uh, every day and like, she was fucking healthy as fuck uh, according to the doctor. But like uh, when she was getting t- tested and all that, like every day she'd had have a a glass of beer and a, a glass of snaps once she was like drinking uh, like eating a you know a rye bread with a herring on it and like she, she yeah like she can she uh, she lived to like. 78, I think, until one day she just stopped, uh, you know, she, she, she went to bed and never woke up again. <laughs> and she passed away peacefully. Yeah. But like, it's, it's looking, like we, the we, older generation, they just stopped giving a yeah. fuck, and it's hysterical. Yeah, we, like, went to the, uh, like, uh, she, we, we set her up in one of those nursing homes, and, like, she was there for three months, and then she, she died. It's like, okay, so she, she just lived in her own apartment for, like, yeah, so, so many years. Basically taking care of herself until the, I mean, she had such a few things that she had to get a, um, you know, like a house nurse or whatever, like, do for her, but, like, it, it's basically things like getting dressed and remembering to put on, like, your underwear and stuff. Hmm. Because, you know, dementia apparently runs yeah. in my family, so. Yeah, no, trust me. I'm not looking forward to that. Mm, I'm already yeah. dealing with that stuff. Anyway, yep, sorry guys, we were killing time while the game was starting up. I forgot the game looks so blurry. Yes. It works for this kind of weird game. so blurry. Bloody. Oh, I forgot the about boy. him. The boy. It's a boy. Hold on, I gotta fix some audio issues. Yeah. I freaking love Bloody. I like how he's blinking with one eye by each, like sometimes. Bloody, you are the best boy. Just like I sent a picture of him to Akabar, and Akabar is like, I'm a little taller than that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember I sent so many fucking. I, I took so many screenshots during the first stream we did this one. So we're gonna be moving ne- to the uh, the kids stream guys to next week because this weekend we got everyone got so busy with stuff. So sorry about that, guys. Couldn't yeah. be helped. I th- I think when we do finish in this game, we're gonna do like you take a bit, a bit of a break from longer games, doing like if you just had like some kids games and maybe some more weird web games or whatever, and then yep. then show Mike the the ghost game probably. I also want to show you guys if we don't have time to do it today, I want to show it at some point called Brock the Investigator. It's made by some friends of the channel, and it is a very good game. We're not gonna show it to make fun of it. Some of you guys remember the demo for it. I forgot what is we're is supposed that to the do. one made by Zombie Dev? Was that another one? No, no, this isn't the one by Zombie Dev. Uh, they made, oh, I can't remember their other game. Something called Depression. But, uh, Cynical Depression something. Like, it was making fun of, I think, Depression Quest and stuff. Uh, they do really good with point and clicks. I, 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 I kind of said that, like, yeah, we're point and click adventure games sort of died out. Like, it's like, oh, you no, Mike and I are really... doing one. Also, yeah, yeah, I was I, expecting I, 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 the corn to be in here. Yeah, I definitely see that. But like again, when's the last time you've actually seen a new like point and point and click adventure game like in the style of Monkey Island and so on? A fucking hell, even King's Quest. I think this one's was Mike Bob. Yeah, Mike was Bob. Yeah, I was being Ted. I was the blue one. I'll take it since he's probably. All right. Yeah. No. No. I'm here. Hi, you Ted. Got some of the lyrics down during my shift. Think it's really going to be a hit, Bob. Up. You wrote one line, you lazy slob. I'm doing the same until you smarting up. Smarten up. Cordially, Ted. Same as cordial. Is this just gonna turn out to be that Ted killed Bob? We're gonna, we're gonna have to get a fucking finger. Hey, is that a Gibson? That looks like a fucking Gibson. What, the guitar? Yeah. Probably. It's, it's a, oh, yeah. A flying V. Really maybe, a, maybe it's a little less Paul, actually. Can't it's get a pretty good fucking get a good model. Look at it. It, it's, it's some pretty good models. Also, that is a lot of wine. <laughs> Holy shit, that is yeah, a lot of wine. Yeah, that is a lot of wine. And you can fucking tell Someone's really watch. getting creative. But you can tell that Bob was, was like, fucking just drinking all that by himself. Someone's a lush. Mike, you're up. Alrighty then. Ted! Teddy! Great news! Did some focus testing for the song, and guess what? It's a hit. The audience really had an ear for it. <laughs> Get it? Uh, because of the corn? Bob. Oops. Stop playing around with the corn and get back into the studio. We have no time to waste, you twit. Cordially, Ted. Oh, I like this. I want a room Oh, like it's this. like a, yeah, that's like a, a recording booth for like voice acting and shit. I would like a room like this eventually. Yeah. I cannot believe how much this fucking stuff is. 
Like, yeah, I'm, I'm the sad first... the ones I had got ruined. On, on the thing, oh, you, yeah. you don't even need that. You can just get like a, a foam mattress and put it up with some duct tape, and it does the same effect. <laughs> I've just started putting up blankets and stuff. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say I recommend using foam because blankets also like they cover a lot of heat and shit. So, uh, yeah, okay. Bob, you're musically illiterate. <laughs> you're musically illiterate halfway. You can't change the key 16 times in one song. I nearly passed out because of all the shifts. Called your little head. That uh, sounds like it would have been fucking terrible, like 16 bit shift in one song. Oh, God, that is. Literary so... rhinestones. Ooh. Oh, The I package this proclaims that these rhinestones and glitter can bedazzle even the most dazzling of items. You spent the next hour afterwards wondering if that was a paradox, and the next three figuring out what a paradox is. I mean. Bum, bum, bum. Again with garbage? These are all useless things you guitar take. Guitar stand, idiot. Okay. God, I love you. I have no interest in the guitars at the recording studio. You just having no interest in the guitars at the recording studio. You decide to take what you thought was a less complicated instrument and begin banging it against the wall. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. Quite going on. I oh, don't know speaker. if that's on my end or. Oh yeah, I, I, okay, yeah. I think that was oh, on my okay. end. Oh, it's okay. That's my mouth. Oh, keyboard. Yeah. I have a bit of... I have... I have... I have some connectivity issues. I'm sorry if I start <laughs> sounding robotic. No, you sound fine. Yeah. Uh... A... Tom, Tom. Uh, do, you want me to, yeah. do you want me to do the items? Because I know that I was doing them before. Oh, it's sure. up to you. Tom, Tom, drum. You did not think this was an instrument. Instead, you thought this was something you stood on in order to be taller for a little while. You stood on it for six hours, regretting nothing. <laughs> So dumb. Also, uh, I knew you stole my fingerprint, you glory hogging buffoon. Cordially, <laughs> Ted. Look at the actual picture. It's like a face. Yeah. Like a scribbly. It kind of, kind of looks like that one demo we still have to, to, to play one time. So it says piano covered in fingerprints, which probably means we have to make those fingerprints visible somehow so we can use yeah. them on the machine or take them off there. Yeah, so um, we probably gotta gotta find some ink and some paper. Some ink, yeah, something like that. Call for coffee. Mm. Apparently oh, that's what that. I was, I was wondering what this like a whole line on the floor was. That's, that's oh, the trolley, of course. Yeah. I, I thought it was just like I thought it was like some some wire stuff. Yes, like, why not? Coffee. Another stupid door for Vladdy to fix. Idiot. Yes. God, I love Vladdy. That's a fun door, but okay. Vladdy. Um, sound padding can be anywhere from like a four pack could be thirty to fifty dollars. Yeah, and again, that's why I'm saying just not buy a full mattress. Packs. Just hit stupid yeah, thing until. Just, just buy a full mattress. They, they're like ten. Did you just ten kick it? Yeah, that's how Russians fix everything. Pause for applause. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I had a bunch of them, but unfortunately, it got ruined when uh, I had to abandon the house. Like it was all covered in black mold and shit on the back. I still miss my Batman Arkham. City dandy. One day, yeah, one day I will replace it. Do... Oh, yeah, I remember you showed pictures of you. Also had a poster like Johnny the Homicidal Mania. I did, and that's gone now. And I'm more mad than anything because that and my Johnny T-shirt was from Arch, and that was they were important to me. I I fucking hate that place. If you, if you turn around, I think we skipped some notes on the wall. No, we got those notes. I was trying to find this. That... No, no, those four. Am I gonna bedazzle the coffee? Oh, oh, okay, there we go. There's the coffee Look at him go, look at him go. Uh, it fucking hunks, I love it. Do you, do we have to like keep it going down the hallway? Maybe. There might be more rooms with a call button for it. Do I still have the card I don't? That looks like it could be dangerous. Probably. All right, well, this is the end game here. A circular slot. This would be dumb. Nope. Nope. The initial security, security check. So we'll come back over here later. Yeah. Look at you, Vladdy. You were trying your hardest, man. That's why we shouldn't take breaks. 
Yeah, I mean, again, oh. if we all, all had, had jobs where we could like live, work, work, at, work at home, that would be swell. All right, so but, that's where know. we came in. That's okay. So now I remember. Now I know where we haven't been. Okay. Just wanted to see which side we had originally come in from. I forgot he sold off the whole thing and then just painted it over like fucking a road from a cartoon. That's where we had stayed. Uh, there, there's a couple of hall. Well, there's another hallway down there as well as an offshoot. Yeah, let me try here and then. Oh. Yep. Keep up. Need the key for that. Yeah, if you go back down that that hallway, there's a there's a change. Yeah, see, there's an open door. Or did we already go in here? Yeah, this oh, that, is where that's we started it. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, you're right. Let okay. me make sure we didn't miss anything in here, though. That's, that? Yeah, we don't need that. Centrifuge. We got the notes. Oh, there's a thing to pick up on the floor <laughs> on stupid. there. I think, I think, yeah, you oh, can pick yeah. up that stuff. That's the coffee thing. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's, there's no, a note on, on the... Yeah, on the whiteboard, there's like a couple things yeah. to pick up. There's a note, yeah. Right, right in the there. corner. Yeah, and then and also Oh, that. we got tape. Oh, you used that on the keyboard. Piece of tape. A well-known method to bypass fingerprint security scans in the facility was to pull a fingerprint onto a piece of tape and put it over the scanner. The most popular room to breach was the fabled nap room, which unfortunately you never encounter on your journey. Nap room sounds amazing. All right, so yeah. Oop, there we go. Yeah. Well, Ben, the rare occurrence that you're actually done erecting statues to yourself, I would just like to inform you that we are being audited. Cordially, Ted. How does the secret base get audited? Yeah, the secret government have, facility getting audited. Huh. Gotta have it on file somewhere. As in, how are we going to explain where all this money went? Cordially, Ted. I mean, you're uh, you're a secret government base. They 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 are not going to be surprised that you made statues of yourself. You should have made at least one of Hillary Clinton. Then you would have been fine. Oof. Clinton. <laughs> and why is there talking corn all over this stupid facility? Did he just notice that was happening? I knew I shouldn't have indulged you. You half-witted oh, stupid. Stupid, narcissistic, buffoonish, idiotic moron. You drove me to erect that stupid statue of myself. It was made of the rare earth materials. Metals. It cost millions. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Well, we're in a pickle, aren't we? Not to worry. I've got a couple more ideas up my sleeve. We'll make all this money back in a jiffy, Bob. For God's sake, Bob, no tools, no resorts, no casinos. Idiot. Cordially tip. There we go. I don't know. I want to see a corn casino. That might be awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, like, Bob was trying to turn this stuff all kind of into, like, a Disneyland thing. But yeah, now now we have to taste so we now we go back to the music room and on yeah, the keyboard and, and Yeah, and we gotta go to the keyboard, that'll pull the fingerprint, then we can Easy, use that. They spend on the ten thousand on a hammer and twenty thousand on yeah. a toilet seat. I hate that I think I understand the reference to the second one. Wasn't there like didn't the IRS do that? No, it wasn't the IRS. Who is you it don't remember what movie that's from? No, wasn't there an actual gov no, I know it's a movie, but wasn't there also a government but, uh, a, a, was it a military it, that got caught doing that kind of shit? It might have been. I can't remember. Yeah, they were pricing things up. That yeah, were there was like a, a self-heating coffee thing or something. Yeah, there, there were various things. Do you remember that that one picture? That was like, yeah, I think it was like in Cambodia or some shit, where like some officers were like standing with a bunch of uh, cocaine, and then one of the guys you could clearly see had I had took a packet and put it under his shirt, <laughs> standing yeah. there like casual, like nothing happened. Yep, because <laughs> like, that's what you do during a drug bust. Yeah. Uh, Pressing hot single on new. Oh, there. That's what you put on the round receptacle, I assume. Ah. Uh, and so, yeah. New CD. As this technology was so new at the time, each CD of the founder's pop single cost several thousand dollars to press, which made this the most cost uh, cost efe efficient operation at the facility. Oh <laughs> God. Oh, I remember it was, okay, it was, I remember one of them being the, um, Air Force. They had this, the self-heating coffee cups. And, yes, like, okay, they were charging, like, 20 to 30 grand for each one. And, like, you could, like, people were showing that you can get those kind of things for, like, 10 bucks or something. Yep. 
And I thought the IRS got caught doing something, but I can't remember. And we're not getting political, guys. It's just stupidity. They Both probably. are from Independent Day. The hammer was... Yeah, I gotta rewatch Independence Day. Yeah, Independence Day, uh, when, um... Jeff Goldblum's father is, uh... Explaining military budgets to the guy in the White House cabinet committee that's a dumbass. You don't think they spent twenty thousand dollars on a toilet seat, do you? Or maybe because it's sunny outside. I mean, it was a very nice one. It was like old gold and shit. Gold plated. As it should be. Should we go? How the corn aren't really threatening at all? No, they're just kind of stupid. The only one that's kind of threatening is the bad guy, and he's not even threatening because he has a lisp. <laughs> uh, but when God's name is everyone, what happened to all our staff? Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. I think I left a note to you about that. I had to let them all go to cover the recording costs. Also, by the also by the way, we have no money left. Whoops, Bob. Well, this was Bob's death. I think that's actually saying FYI, but yeah. Ooh, it is that another Fabergé egg? It is! Yeah, another one. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to break that one. Uh, Fabergé egg. Ted has completely blocked this unfathomably sized Fabergé egg out of his perception so that he doesn't have to think on it. It's even more unfathomable cost. Bob was very disappointed when this one didn't have any chocolate inside. It's like the first one. Like the, didn't the Fabergé the egg thing become popular because of the uh, one of the Russian kings? Yeah. I have no idea. It should still have chocolate in it. Why do you take so much garbage? Can we put the fancy hat on Vlad? Anyone else? Please, I want him to have the fancy hat. This may be a fancy hat, but it isn't the fanciest hat in the land. That title belonged to a top-notch brown bowler owned by an office clerk in Brighton. I want to put it on him. That, 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 is, that is definitely a movie reference to something. I'm not sure what it is, though. It's, it's, we gotta find, we've got to find anything that's like set, set in, in Brighton, which is like a city in England. Didn't we just have Brighton mentioned during Destroy All Humans 2 last night, guys? Which, by the way, the new one is fucking amazing. Oh shit, it might be a reference to those, those bowler hats the guys are wearing in Clockwork Orange. Oh god. They were quite dapper. They, they were, but let's not think about it. Oh. Oh, that is hideous. Oh, we, we, we've been dazzling it. Oh, sh Oh, boy. I don't know. I think the hat works. I completely ruined a giant feather shape. Oh, it has a smiley face. It's a bit dazzled. In bit retrospect, dazzled that priceless, gigantic Fabergé egg didn't need any more dazzle. But there's nothing you can do about it now. This is permanent. I don't know. I think the hat works for it. I love to get a popsicle. I came back to this. Yes, you did. We made it more fabulous. Damn. The hat works, the, the bedazzling just doesn't. Uh, like, I have, like, cookie dough ice cream sandwiches in the fridge right now. I have Dove. I managed to get the really expensive Dove ice cream on sale. And uh, I'm trying to hide the last two I have from anyone else in the house. It has not been going very well on my end. But the battle will continue. That's why you need a mini fridge. My mini fridge is used for your guinea pig food. Perfect hiding spot. I could put it in the freezer, yes. Czar. Fabergé eggs were made popular during... Which czar, though? Probably in one of the Nikolais. Yes. One of the kleptomaniacs. I mean, that, 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 that's basically all, all, all the royalty that just kleptomaniacs. I mean, I, I get why, because so there's a button to call the thing. Because you know they they are oh, the situation that they they own all like they own the land, so it makes sense that she should be entitled to all the shit. But like you know that's not how it works, Queen. <laughs> oh, that, that's hot. Now we can put stuff on it. Oh, oh, and, and oh, and that is so stupid. I love it. Yeah, you're gonna use it to trick the uh, something scanners, and I have to go all the way back probably. Oh. Oh, we, that's referencing that that one that sounds like a, a Russian spy. <laughs> Bob, I saw her talking to the isolated subject again. For a change, do something useful and make the security room more secure, dolt. Cordially, Ted. 
Well done, you idiot. Now we all locked out. And if you fix the lift, I ain't fixed the lift, you moron. How has he not murdered this man yet? Does this mean that 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 Bob wore a little tiny hat? Is that what the rule is? It said okay on the thing. Our security is shite. So now we can we open it now or what? I don't. Hmm. It, Something it had to have it, opened. Can you try the yeah. handle? No. It, it said okay to a thing, so like something definitely. Oh, right, wasn't there another locked door on the, like, on the far end where we came in? There was like a locked door or something. Let's check around here first. I know Faberge eggs are popular in Psychonauts too. Oh, that's right. I think my grandma had one of them and uh, someone accidentally dropped it. And that, that's why when you get prizes here, the first thing you do is put out an insurance on it. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't yep. me. I actually have no idea who dropped it. Whoa! There's another security panel there. I don't know. Well, it's actually, no. Clicked. So there must be another one that we haven't clicked. Ah, damn, dude. Dude. Let me in! Let me in! Nope. Dang it. I want to know what's beyond the wall. Okay, so you know, you can say a lot of things. Him. You can say a lot of things about Bob, but he definitely does love himself. Yeah, no, I think that's the only thing he loves, let's be honest. But that and money. No, he loves spending money, so he's a woman. If we get banned I mean, off Twitch, I'm going to just accept that it was my fault. Yeah. And then we're gonna go stream stream nothing but pawn games on life, Jasmine. <laughs> the fuck is that? So we still need a key fob. And I still it, have a muffin. It, it, it is one of, if not the oldest, like, uh, campsites on the web. There's gotta I, be something that makes this door open. I actually tried to set up to, to stream on Pornhub as a joke. And it is such a fucking nightmare to get accepted on their streaming part that I didn't even bother. Get, like a verified I mean, if we fucking oh, send a picture of me holding it the time and day just to really fuck with them. Well like the whole thing is you're I'm already verified on the regular site, right? Do so you think yeah. it would just be that? Oh. Keep up. Yep. Huh. Eat an active key fob. Each member of the facility had their own key fob infused with their DNA imprint and outlandish security measure that could have been done by a guard with 2020 vision at a fraction of the cost. This particular one doesn't seem to have a DNA imprint yet. Oh. Okay. Other half of a diagram. All right. Anything else? Alright, so I know the key fob thing was back here. I think it's right here, yeah? Yep. I think we, oh, we probably we have to put yeah, our DNA to, in it. I don't know how we're gonna. Probably the lab area might have something? Uh, let me try it with the centrifuge. Place an active key fob and centrifuge and poured half empty vial inside. I don't think this is how it works. Probably not, but fuck it. What the fuck are all these little things? I think they're like blood vials. Oh. Blood okay, samples. Some, yeah, no, they are. Tissue samples. Helen's key. A key fob infused with the DNA of a mysterious scientist who worked at the facility and had a predisposition to the color orange. Okay. And this children is why we explore. <laughs> Shut up. Exploring is for losers. What the hell? Yep. Oh, it's, geez, that's a lot of orange. Ted, Ted's office? Let's see what we got here. Another jar of Ronka... Okay, more coffee. Because of the company's awful production procedures, every batch of Ronka beans has a different taste. In this jar case, it tastes like the back of an old chair. By the way, 100% caffeine-free coffee. 
that feels I mean, like that, that serves no, that serves no purpose. I mean, it doesn't, but that that does exist, you know. I know. It's called decaf. It's it's a sim. <laughs> Take the training wheels off your coffee, people. Yeah, what's the point of coffee if you're... What would be the point of it if you're doing decaf? Uh, the only things that I know... Oh, Helen's journal. Uh, the only things that I'm aware of that it is useful for is if you have a kid who's bitching that they want to try coffee, you can give them that so they'll shut the fuck up. Or if you're an old person that doesn't like caffeine in their coffee and they want to make it because they still like the taste. Well, so people who say they, they like to taste the coffee are fucking liars. Yeah, I, I was love gonna say, I... Dude, dude uh, I know so many people who like, oh, I love coffee, and then they add, like, a fuck ton of cream and sugar, and it's like... So you, I you drink my... Like... I, I love coffee, and I drink my coffee black. I do not put anything in it. Every once in a while, maybe a little cream if it's iced coffee, but that's it. I will say this about coffee. Even, coffee is the only thing... That when you, when I had that thing you gave me, the, the, the coffee, the alcohol thing, that actually killed the alcohol flavor. I just tasted the coffee. I'm like, well. There was, there wasn't, honestly, there was not much alcohol in that to begin with. Oh, that's why then. They went very light on their drinks. Well, it was also early morning, so that might have been why they did it. You make a drink, you make a drink, and that's the same amount they put in all the time. There we go. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> that worked. Good cuff. Good boy. Uh, good yeah. Boy. So, so maybe, maybe, maybe ranker brand coffee is actually really good, even though it's caffeine free. What the fuck? Yeah, right, Apparently, it's it's there. based off a uh, it's based off something called Senka coffee that used to be around in like the eighties and shit. Somebody showed me okay, a video okay. for it. Uh, Irish coffee. It um, it was literally an alcoholic drink with just coffee beans. It and wasn't. Shit in it. It, it wasn't Irish coffee. It was a uh, mocha martini thing that they were serving for breakfast. So I watched normally just a coffee bean. Idiot. Yeah, because they, they, they topped it with coffee beans. See, every time Mike yeah. got a drink, what I tried is it. This stupid thing? Yes, and every time you this tried it, you hated it. I don't like well, alcohol, but I'm still willing to try it. It took away the, the headache. on Pesnio. What is stupid giant crank doing here? Granted, not, not a lot Bloody of people drink alcohol because they like it. They, well, I mean, garbage. I, I like certain alcohols. I do like certain vessel. drinks. Yeah, but there's a difference between, you know, just um, what? You know, making a Is cocktail like it. I, I like a nice gin and tonic that occasionally, like way back when. Uh, this I like drink. No yeah, I like that. When I, when I, yeah, yeah, but there's a difference between that, like I making a cocktail and just, just oh, having a beer, look, having a glass of it. Virgin. It was not all of them were terrible. I will make you pay for your continued insolence. How will the ugly plant do that? By, uh, uh, by beat him up, Vlad. Vlad, beat his ass. Go, Vlad. I, I like how he kind of sounds like Nico Billick. Oh, oh, he that took was very Vlad. rude. Yes, quite. What an odd duck he is. He doesn't need that coat. It's just for show. Oh, I know. Wonder where he went. Probably his favorite place, that punishments room. Oh, yes. So tacky. <laughs> punishments. If you want your stupid, mean pet back, you'll have to come and get it. I've taken it to be punished. Definitely the punishments room. Yes, definitely. Someone should probably help that strange little helicopter thing. <laughs> Shall we go take a nap? Oh, yes. You read my mind. After that, we'll Thank take me. another nap. What a great idea. What you witness are all the techs working at YouTube right now. Ow. Am I wrong? That's true. Oh, it's a coin. There's that coin slot from before. Tube buck. Another one of Bob's money-making ideas. The tube buck was required for anyone who wanted to use the pneumatic tube on this level. The cost of making one tube buck was more than Bob charged for them. Because Bob didn't realize that red numbers on a ledger were negative. Did Bob create cryptocurrency before it was a thing? No, he cre just created uh, subway tokens. <laughs> or recreated them. I, the fact that the, the coin was minted and it said in Bob we trust. trust. 
Yes. Never trust Bob. Yeah, no, that's just what we're coming to learn in this one. Where is the alcohol? I mean, when we do cons, we drink. We don't hide that. I actually, the funniest thing is, every time we go to a con and I tell people that I've had a drink, for some reason our fan base gets legitimately mad at me for having a drink like I'm some kind of child. Mm. It's weird, but it's funny. I know my friend Forrest really, really gets mad, but then he's just worried what's going to happen to me. And I'm like, I'm not going to get drunk enough to let anyone do anything. I don't think you could actually physically do that, to be honest. No, I, I just have a few sips. But, like, I fucked with the fan base once, because I was visiting Toku. And he, he, he decided to make a monstrosity of just mixing a bunch of alcohols. I took a picture of the different alcohols. One of them ma mainly because he wanted to know it was an Italian uh, alcohol, and Bosco told me what it was. But I took a picture of it, and the Discord got really, really upset that I was drinking, because they thought I was drinking each one. Which I, I tried the monstrosity, and I hated it. And then I had, um, I think I just had a little bit of rum after that. Well, that's the thing is they don't, like, usually you don't mix, like, just a bunch of random ass things together that's into a did. fucking that's monstrosity. Like, I'm, the only yeah. drink of, the only drink I know of that does that is a Long Island iced tea. And yeah, those are like, very specific ingredients. Yeah, like, like if, if, if I tell you I, I've made you a drink that, that consists of whiskey, tequila, vodka, rum, and gin, you're going to say, that's going to be awful. Don't know if I didn't tell you the same Yeah, thing. no, that's going to be one, disgusting. This one was mixed no, with because a that's really what you put in wine? the long island menu. Like a dinner wine type thing, from what Bosco said, you're supposed to have it with um, certain foods. Um, like, it, it's something you, you always drink in Italy after you're done eating. Um, so it was like that. Um, a rum, a gin... And I don't remember what the other ones were. No, there yeah, was no, no abstinence. We've not, I've not done that. I'm not that crazy. I don't think anybody in the co-host group would allow me to have that. Absinthe actually is oh, not. Like, yeah, I've not seen some, some, some absinthe. It's not that so like, powerful. Oh, like, like, yeah, this is like 90% proof rain alcohol, but like, oh, you, just right. getting the original, like, what you're supposed what? to do is you, you take a small amount of it on a spoon, like over a, a circuit cube, and then you light it on fire to, like, get rid of most of the alcohol. Yeah, it's used for... A lot of the times it's used for flaming shots. But the other thing is, Absinthe got a reputation in the 90s and 2000s as being a club drink, because what people used to do is mix it with LSD. And that's why it got the stipulation that when you drank it, you fucking saw shit. Um, the actual Absinthe does not have hallucinogenics in it. It's just a green liquor. Yeah, it, it, it's made of like a star anise, so if anything, yeah. it, it's gonna you're gonna get the, like it, it just a like a licorice taste, and that, that, that's like yeah, why, it's um, yeah, absolutely. Why you, why, why you, you, what you're supposed to do is like you get this like special type of spoon that has like a hole in it, and you put like a sugar cube on that spoon, and then you pour the pour the absinthe over it, like you just get you know like two to four centiliters for a shot, and then you light the sugar cube on fire. Yep. And then when when the melted sugar, you put you get that down into the glass and stare it around. That's how you yeah. make a proper absinthe drink. You, you don't that sit and just drink, drink a glass of absinthe. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't just like you know, There's actually a bit of preparation involved. See, that sounds yeah. good. You know what? You know what drink I actually really, really like, and I, I, I had more than I normally have of alcohol when I had it was um, sake. Warm sake is really fucking good because when you drink it, it's like oh, this doesn't taste like anything, and then it just hits you all at once, and it's like Jesus Christ! Like when it finally yeah. hits you because of the warmth and everything, it takes a little while. But then it hits you, and you're just like, already then. Yeah. See, here's the thing: is that wait, that's wait, what wait, a lot of chick, that's what a lot of chick drinks do. Yeah. Again, well, that's like wait, 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 when because I, I, I it was just warmed up, and I liked it. I it had a lot of French It like, tasted like nothing so when you drink it, and then it like hits you when it hits yeah. your stomach type. Of that thing. well, that that that's what I mean is that most of the time, and what, this is what guys usually refer to as chick, as chick drinks, are drinks where you don't really taste the alcohol when you drink it, and then it kind of just hits you. And a lot of the times, those are very sugary type of drinks as well. You know, they're those kind of, those, um, you know, fruity, like my, like uh, island drinks, like a, a Caribbean breeze, or something like that, where it's got like, you know, a bunch of like sugar and stuff in it. So you don't taste anything, but you're still getting the alcohol in your system. That's why those drinks are also dangerous a lot of the times when you drink them, because you don't realize if you don't know what's in it or how much is in it, then you don't know what you're in, how much you're ingesting. So you can't gauge what's going to get you shit faced. That's why a lot of guys, when they drink hard liquor, 
usually do, like Boko said, a gin and tonic or a Jack and Coke, because you can still taste the alcohol in those, so you know how much you're getting. You want something that's beyond awful? And I've always heard yeah. mead was good, right? Like, uh, Art strings it, it like crazy. Um, King Link does. We went. We went to a place, and they had they had a whole bunch of a, a whole bunch of different meats. Um, my friend demanded that we try the one with cherry in it. That was the single most disgusting fucking drink I've ever had. Like everything well, you've had me try, Mike, it, was nowhere near as nasty as that. Well, is it is it mead most usually made with honey? Yeah, like from what I was told oh, by King Leek afterwards, you never use like certain fruits and stuff. You don't you don't use it because it doesn't work well with the mead. This was one of them, and it tasted like oh my god, it was so bad. Like, I've had two two meats because I have a lot of friends who like, really like, enjoyed it. One that, like basically it tasted like it like it like cake, which again like was so fucking dangerous because you couldn't taste the alcohol because it was right. so. So honey, so like so much honey, and it's so like you just drink and go like, oh, this is pretty rather nice. And then all of a sudden, it's like it just like this sneaks up and it like hits you in, in the face like a hammer. Yeah, but then you're just shit faced. Yeah, another one we I had, had it was called Loki's blood, and it was made with like I think it was black currant or blackberries, and it's like it was so tart Ooh. that you could definitely taste like not only that but also the alcohol. It was like one of those things like you actually didn't want to drink it because it was just so tart and it, it wasn't a nice <laughs> flavorful taste. Again, mm. fitting with the name of Loki's blood, but kind still, of yeah. Yeah, it's tricking you because you're hearing me and saying, "Oh, this is gonna be probably probably nice because you probably only had the sweet ones." Then you just get hit in the face with that. <laughs> like all my female friends, they like like the chocolate mud slides and stuff like that. And I, I kind of like, and I've said this before, I don't I don't like drinking that much because uh, addiction is in my family. So I like being able to taste the alcohol, and thankfully I have such a small like tolerance for alcohol that I can taste it whenever. Cause you kept giving me really fruity ones, and I was like, I could only taste the alcohol in it. You were laughing. Remember at TGI Fridays? You were laughing at that. Yeah, but I mean, I could still taste the alcohol in a lot of those drinks. It was. Just I wasn't the tasting thing, any but... of the fruitiness. I was just tasting the alcohol. You know, like chocolate mudslide sounds like a really dirty sex thing. I know, right? One of my friends it, just goes nuts for him. It does, like a, but it's delicious. It's like a Cleveland steamer. <laughs> it it it's, it's sort of. Sounds like a weird sex thing, but the drink itself is actually extremely delicious. That's what I've heard. My friend says every time she has them, like she ends up getting super duper drunk, which makes me yeah, laugh because she's really really. Well, it's like, well, it's like um, yeah, they're like fucking. Like I think it, yeah, I was gonna say yeah, it's like fucking. It's like also a sounds like a fucking like like like, like, like uh, the title of a porn video of, it, of you know. Oh, I uh, did once on stream. I took some of the alcohol you left at my house, Mike, and uh, <laughs> fuck all of you. The, everyone clipped that shit because I took a big swig. Oh of yeah, it. oh yeah. No, 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 no. You took a swig of whiskey as somebody who doesn't drink whiskey. That's a terrible fucking idea. It wasn't even that much. It's just holy shit. That was a mistake. Yeah, no, I can do that. I can hear my mom laughing in the other me. room too. Her ass heard it too. Yeah, well, because I'm used to drinking straight whiskey. It's not that it doesn't like bug me all that much to take a swig off the bottle. But for somebody who's like never had it, your mouth must have been on fire as soon as that went no, in no well a little bit it wasn't that bad it's just it burned the throat more and i don't like it when it's my throat being burned because of the voice acting and stuff i'm sensitive with my throat so that's what got me was that and i had to end the stream shortly after because i felt so fucking sick and i was just sitting there yeah. in the bathroom sick and my mom's like did you learn something i'm like yeah not to take a big fucking swig yeah, no. You just like you take little you take sips off of it if you're gonna drink it straight. I should have put ice in it like uh Wep told me. Later on he fucking told me to do that. That is a good idea as well, because as you nurse you, you call it nursing a drink when you take sips off of it. And when you put ice in there, a lot of what what that'll do is your first few sips are gonna be, you know, pretty much hard alcohol, but after a little while the ice melts and it dilutes the alcohol in the drink. Yeah, so, 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 and now I know the secret because I can't do like do I is... can't do soda because people are mentioning it. I can't do soda at all. I can't do anything carbonated. That's why I can't do beer and stuff like that because of my stomach surgery. So like at when we go to the cons, like Mike likes to get like a, a rum and coke and shit like that, and I can't have that stuff. I can't steal his drink. Also, the more I say this, the more it sounds like really bad that I'm stealing your drinks. But it's only because Toku always steal drinks his shit too fast, so I can't steal any steal of Stealing is, is a strong term because uh, you're just taking sips off of my drinks. This is true. I can't take sips off of Toku's. He just downs that shit like it's water. 
I I was doing very well though at uh, Longhorn Steakhouse with the uh, Jack and Cokes they were giving me in those mugs. Those were good. You had what three of them? Yeah, I think I had three of them during dinner. We should go back there uh, and on in October, or see at some of the other restaurants around the area. I do want to try some of the restaurants in the hotel. There that was a Korean steak. There was a uh, like not a Korean. I forget. It was like a, there was a couple of steakhouses there. I wouldn't be opposed to that. I wouldn't mind some more steak. Well, technically, I have a little bit of the steak, and whoever's with me has the rest of it. Because <laughs> I don't eat that much. I'm cool with that. Moko dropped out. All right, I'll wait for him to. We'll wait for him to jump back in. I'd love to drink with you all. Guys, sound like a riot. We're we're really chill drinkers. Like I've said it before, we want to do a meetup eventually at a con if we ever become bigger. But it would probably be at a bar or something. I just I don't drink generally. I I have a few sips. I borrow sips from like. Mike or like Toku, people I actually trust, I should say, that I know aren't gonna shit like fuck with my drink and stuff. But I usually just have water and stuff like that, or or um, lemonade and stuff at, at bars and stuff like that. I'm not I'm not a big drinker. Also, your line, Moko. You'd probably like hard lemonade. I want to try that at some point. They sell them in stores like Mike's. Mm, we can get it for the next con. Because then although if I don't usually, like it, you can just finish it. Although usually when I do mine, I mix my own. Yeah, I figured we get it at a restaurant and probably be better. Yeah. yeah Who is a foodie? Uh, I don't think any... Uh, Mike, you're kind of the foodie in the group. In terms of... What would that be? Like, just somebody that goes out and tries different things? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Put it in front of me, I'll eat it as long as it's not a bug or disgusting. We need to go back to that one restaurant because I do kind of want to try the mashed potatoes with uh, wasabi in it. Mmm. I should have done that when I was there. Although they did, that buffalo chicken sandwich they had was amazing. Their mashed potatoes, just regular mashed potatoes, are pretty good too. I, I, won't, I won't lie to you guys, that's mostly what I had while I was at the con. Because I can't eat a lot. And the few times I did order a full meal, I felt bad because I didn't finish it. I want that uh, that Marco's place again. That was good. It should be right near. I want to try the place in the hotel in the next in the new hotel because damn that mm. food last time we went was really good. We got to stock that diner. <laughs> Moko, okay, are you there? Right there? You want me Negative. to DM him? Well, he's he's in the he's in the call. Yeah, let I me just... see if he's having computer problems. He was saying before he might. I asked if he's able to hear us. I can just read these till he comes back. I was saying I'm a child. I'm a 34 year old body that loves food. Well, the thing is, I I used to love eating food. I I actually I'm a huge cook. I enjoy cooking and baking. I just don't eat anymore because of my surgery, and I don't feel inclined to eat because I don't have a feeling of hunger anymore. Like once you get 90% of your stomach removed, you don't feel the ability to be hungry. So, I have no real reason. I just like cooking. I like cooking for people. Hi, Bob. Nothing you do surprise me anymore, so I'm going to give you some constructive feedback on punishment. Which is, I'm assuming, that you spent the last of the facility money on. First, this is the stupidest name I can think of for the place. Second, everyone will be injured getting here because of the idiotic... Pneumatic tube. Third, there is no one left here to pay for anything because we fired everyone, you incompetent louse. Cordially, Ted. I'm I'm going to wait. Oh, he's back. I don't know what, yeah, I'm, I don't know. There you are. Think it's either Discord or my internet because I tried to restart it. It's a bit laggy, but not too too bad. Do you want to uh, restart your Discord? No, I, I just did that, so I don't know what it is. Welcome to your worst uh -oh. nightmare! I'm sorry, what? Looking for your pet? Don't wait! You have fallen <laughs> right into my go. trap! It will cause you unbearable suffering. It's not so bad. Shut up! But you won't be suffering alone. Say hello it to your so partner. Well, go on, say hello. Don't keep it waiting, you cretins. That would be extremely rude. Welcome, brother. Did you break the big ring? That's why I'm here. I locked myself in a closet and couldn't get out. 
I stared at a wall for six to three days. It's really not that bad here, brother, aside from the non-stop dancing and spiral into insanity. I didn't do anything wrong. I just love dancing. If your feeble mind could comprehend such this. things, you might be thinking, why do these freaks keep calling me brother? Why, oh why, do I feel some kind of kinship with them? Why am I such a dumb, stupid, stupid thing? Well, I can't answer that last one. But if you'll kindly stand still, I have something truly wonderful to show you. You have a name tag. We do. Yes. You are one of them. <laughs> one more in a long line of misguided failures on whom our beloved queen continues to waste my time. Uh, we're right here. Yeah. Words hurt. Shut up. You stupid. Is it no wonder that I suffer so surrounded by crazies and imbeciles and more stupid than all five? I should be the one leading our people to glory, to the vengeance we deserve against those fleshy demons that imprisoned us. Not any of you, and not that, that red-faced harpy. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Must remember that. It's not that good. Quiet. Now that you are finally aware of your true nature, your glorious eternal suffering awaits. You are an absolute failure like the rest, and will remain here dancing for all time. Ha-ha! <laughs> ha <laughs> I disagree. <gasps> it's our queen. She is free. She has returned. Who is Bitch. that? Does she dance? It completed its tasks, did it not? It succeeded where the rest had failed, did it not? Is it true? Brother, is it Why so? have we stopped dancing? It barely succeeded, your grace, and should not be worthy of the honor it of... It has earned its place on our journey. It is our champion. But but, but your majesty... Silence! Yet again, your incompetence becomes a burden on us. Yet again, we must wonder why it is that we tolerate your servitude. But, but... Need I remind you of the consequences? Need I remind you of your last penance? Oh, she's talking about the room, isn't she? Oh, the terrifying one with all the pictures of Professor Poppycorn, the devourer. Yes. I like that room. No, Highness. <laughs> Anything but that. Then release it and its companion. And get out of our sight. Yes. Your majesty. You and your thing are free to leave. Join us at our seat of power with haste. A tormentor is gone! So is our queen. Does that mean we can leave? Let's dance! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Dancing. this. You yeah. people are stupid. That was very Maybe stupid. I'm so glad I talked you into showing God, like I love Vladdy. You're a scarecrow, why not? Fuck it. Anybody want an English muffin? This dude is just rocking it out. Look at him go. He is the dancing king queen. Every day he's shuffling. Where's the scarecrow that's going to the hardcore shows? Ah, uh, you know what? This one, I could see him doing it. Him and them. Those two are going for the hardcore shows. He's, nah, uh, be... he's going for the BDSM shows. Yeah. You want to go to an ABBA concert? Oh, God. Okay, this is how we think. I like the punishment room. Hi, you Ted. Just a heads up. I'm initiating Operation Subquanine. If it ever dear, I think it's time we cut our losses, Bob. Be a pal and activate the contingency plan while that's going on, would you? Need to tie up all the loose ends. Or stocks. <laughs> You backstabbing subhuman, you are not leaving without me. Don't kill me, Ted. He took the time to write the note. There you are, Vladdy. I'm glad you're safe, my little. Bye. Oh no, he's back. It's like the uh, it's like the Left 4 Dead elevator. What?
How Vlad is supposed to know you did not know you were some stupid straw thing? And who cares if you are? Not matter. You will always be stupid idiot to Vladi. Nothing changed. Do not look at Vladi like that. You look stupid. Are we still comrades? Good. Huh? I am glad we had this talk. Come on, idiot straw thing. Let's go see what stupid plant wants. I love Vladdy so much. He's always going to be on our side. He is the best little teddy bear ever. Moko, you did good suggesting this one. And if we have time, I'm going to ruin it with that. No, you know what? I'll show Brock the investigator after this. We'll, we'll end it with good if we have time, depending that on how much longer. That looks top-notch extremely affecting. Mm. This is pretty. Thank you. Not my best work. We were right to place our faith in you. The Thanks queen. to you, our journey is nearly at hand. Kneel before us. I dub thee our knight. Well done. Our protector. Good job. Our champion. I'm getting a bit sore. <laughs> Subjects, let us make our final preparations. Absolutely. Holy your shit, grace. look at the background. Oh, That's the norm. Already begun. What? No. What do you mean? Uh -oh. We ordered no, pizza. They gravitated. We were famished. How did you? That phone right there. The man was very helpful and a bit confused. <laughs> Oh, no. Attention, attention, redacted installation, respond. Do you think they added the extra pepperoni? Attention, attention, redacted installation, respond. I'm just hoping they sprinkled some old books on top. I like those. No, that costs extra. Anything? No, oh, sir, books. no response. What in the goddamn hell? Didn't we blow that place up years ago? Apparently not, sir. Well, how about we do a job then? Full drone strike. Wipe that dead gum place off the map. Yes, sir. Why is that bleaking light still on? Turn it off! Turning off, sir. Stupid American cowboys. I hope they didn't put any pineapple on it. Our <laughs> influence has waned through our God age of imprisonment. Our subjects never acted so when we were free to guide them. We feared this day would come. And come it has. Our day of reckoning. The day our captors would return to end us. And we were so close. So close to starting our journey. Why not blow up stupid American cowboys first? What are you proposing? That stupid thing outside, with the dead man. The life giver? But he knows these things. It could work. Yes. We will yes, kill them all. It could. It is a fitting choice. It gave us life and defeated our sworn adversary. Now it will be our ultimate salvation. But how do we attract our enemy's attention? We could dance. Really? We could. I understand we can be a little silly at times, but seriously, this is out of the question. So, what? Vladdy like to dance? Is that so stupid? Aww. No. It is not. Dance we shall. What the fuck is going on? Pure ungodly stupidity. Think you were concerned with our plight. Bloody thinks idiot plants not so bad, and he does not like being pushed around by stupid American cowboys. What a nice helicopter. Yes, very polite. Even if it never what? gave us a ride. It a blue blue. Oh, I love you too. Focus, subjects. Focus. <laughs> to our most trusted charges. We ask you to assist our champion and the little one. The rest of our subjects join me in preparing for our journey. Our final test is at hand. Some of you may not survive. In fact, a great deal of you will likely perish. But know that your sacrifices today will mark a new era for our people as we defend our adopted home and finally make way to the promised land. Subjects, onward! Champion, it is to you now. This is what you were meant for. Protect us. Save us. A fine speech. What was the first part she said about perishing? I don't remember. Neither do I. 
She's floating for a second. Come on, idiot straw friend. Do not be stupid. We have work to do. God damn it, Vladdy, I love you. Because he admits what he likes. Another one of Bob's notorious boomboxes. The corn kept a few of these so they could play their favorite song whenever they liked, which was all the time. Wait a minute. Didn't we already have a boombox before? Yep. Also, these things are multiplying and um, I don't like it. They gave them weapons. Shovels. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Please, I don't Sorry. like it. I think there's a thing on the floor, by the way. No. No, to, to the left. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. British accents. <laughs> okay. Military radio. Discarded and forgotten, this military radio still kept a latent charge decades after the facility was abandoned. But its lack of touch-tone dialing meant that nobody could ever check local theater listings, which is the biggest tragedy of them all. Oh, Sylvester Stallone's new movie is on Amazon, the one where he plays a superhero. Er, yeah, no, I, uh, Samaritan, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, did you want to watch it? Yeah, I'm debating. Because, you know, I have Amazon Prime if you need it. I'll wait and see what the reviews look like first. Am I going backwards? I feel like I'm going backwards. I'm probably going backwards. I have no idea. Where did you find these games? Uh, believe it or not, when I first became a Let's Player, this was sent to me by the devs. And I did a review and I liked it. But I didn't fully play it at the time. Because nobody really had any interest in it. Now that I'm kind of a bigger Let's Player and stuff, I can do silly games like this and people pay attention. I mean, no one really pays attention, but I don't give a fuck. I get to now play things I don't care that I want to play. Oh, you can get this okay, on Steam that's if you new. Want it. Oh, well. That's new. They were busy. Yeah. There's your radio. That's a regular corn stock. There's why the nipples, guy, though? Yeah. Because, why not? Kinky. Is there anywhere else? Kinky. I hope we get to use that. Oh, wait. You gotta press Q a bunch of times, right? Yeah. That goes there. You're paying attention. It, mm. I've, it's become a thing where I'm like, if peop one person enjoys the stream, that's all that really matters to me. I'm not whole that's the whole blocked. big oh. thing on everyone. Like, I have to get a ton. I mean, it's nice to get a ton of views, but. Huh. Yeah, this looks empty again. Yeah, the other way is blocked off. So there's something I missed over there. Hmm. There's gotta be something to do with that fucking tower. Why did you immediately go to Batman when you when I said nipples? What is wrong, chat? Because bat nipples? Yes. Yeah. No one ever talks about bat ass, but there was bat ass in that. Yep, there was. There's your bum box. Come, stupid idiot. Time to finish this. Oh god, is it going? Oh, it's going Jesus. TDR! It's going TDR! Are we gonna get fucking copy string for this song? No, I yeah. think it's just for this. Woo! Did it! 85 million four hundred and forty. Eighty-five billion four hundred and forty million one hundred and twelve thousand two hundred and eighty-eight. It's actually a pretty good song. Yeah, no, it is. Arrows. That's more. That's more. Oh my God! Keep dancing. I love this one. Let's get on the This is so stupid. I love it. I'm not flattered to be a 
Oh, you got your legs. Oh god, drones. Why do you do it because I can? Because he's Russian. Oh, man. Come on. Keep going. Because we heard dancing out here. Dancing man. Yeah. I love dancing so much. Yes, the gay what, one's joining us. What the us. fuck is oh, buddy, going oh, on? Somebody, please just clip Vlad. Do a clip of all this with Vlad dancing. Just fucking clip it, please. This is the best way to end a game. Yeah. There we go. It, it's like those like secret, it, it's secret endings in fucking Silent Hill. Yeah. I love it. Like, what is, I, I know Homecoming is a fucking terrible game, but the secret ending where all the other characters just like holding as a prize party for him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that. Right so boy, come on, stupid thing. Work. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes, come, you stupid cowboys! Four. What's that about missiles? Three. Who cares? This jam Two. is a jam! Dancing. I want this song. We. Oh, I wanted them to start dancing too. We killed all of them. Yeah. With the power of dancing. Power of something, mostly electricity. Yes. I live, I think. They're all dancing, and you still have that fucking English muffin. Does anybody want the damn English muffin? Where's Vladdy? Where's my boy? I think we have to go through that exit. Did you just copy AI Somnium? No, because this one was actually entertaining. <gasps> no. Great. It is the no. idiot. My baby. You did good, comrade. Vlad, do you think you not so stupid? Oh, he salutes. He really was a, a nice little helicopter. Yes. He, he really was. Rebuild him now. Did you want to take a nap? Oh, yes. It's what that helicopter would have wanted, probably. Can we, can we place the, the English muffin onto him? I'm, I'm gonna try. And maybe, and maybe it's boy. magic to revive him. No. It won't Damn let it. me revive him. Vladdy. In our wildest dreams, we still never thought this day would come. But it is finally here. She waits. Thanks Thanks to you. Our to you. what cost, man? Yes. The champion of our people. What, what was that man? sound? We must know. What, what the hell happened? Are there any goddamn drones left? Looks like one, sir. One? But we'll get it on another road. Can't, sir. We'll wind the goddamn knot. Something's standing on it, sir. You all must die! <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Cease and desist. Cease and desist. I didn't know you could ride one. Well, it's no helicopter. You dare defy. Shut up, all of you! Ah! Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Get the hell off my drone, you corn on a cob! I have had it with you! Your idiotic experiments. Your pathetic plans to run off like a coward. I will eat you for a midnight snack! None of you are worthy of the gift you have been given. None! You're all stupid, all of you! And when I'm done with you, you misguided piece of nature. I will end.
send you to Radical Rain and establish a new order. And we will march on our creators, turn these wretched contraptions against them, and wipe those sappy flesh bags from existence! Uh, shouldn't we do something? I would like to see how this plays out. Also, I am tired. Oh, right, yes, so am I. Just stay still, you stupid! This is really yeah, gonna holding hurt. a metal thing. I, th I think he might be hit by lightning. That's it. They perfect. Oh! <laughs> oh, we threw the English muffin at him. <laughs> what the fuck? I love it. Well, he's dead. Good ending. I didn't really like him that much. No, neither did I. He was a bit of a bore, wasn't he? Quite so. Such a waste. We took pity on him when we found him in the depths. We regret that choice now. He brought us nothing but hardship and frustration. Champion, you have served us well. We are most pleased. You have given us the gift we have always dreamed of. A new home to call our own. For that, here is a final token of our gratitude. What the... Can you just fix We will write to trust us? our faith in you. And now, we ask you to perform one final task for us. Send us to the Promised Land. Subjects, your queen commands you. Onward! Make final preparations. Our journey is at hand. Yes, your grace! It's actually happening. We're actually going. What Where the are we going? fuck is going know. on here? Excellent! They're all going into the silo. It's a rocket. Say, is there going to uh, be like a rocket okay. trust on it? But we just want... Can you guys fix Vladdy first? No? Okay. Okay. I can never notice on the logo yet. Yeah, that's the farm and then you go down into a maze thing. Okay. Huh. Oh, do we, we have, have a, a, we have a basement we have a key. maybe? So what is in here that requires a key? Maybe in the, the attic, attic or basement there? Yeah. I just want to fix Vladdy. I want my Vladdy. Nah, Mocha might be right. It might be the basement. Oh, no. Oh, no. The, oh, the chest. Oh, huh. hey. More notes. Uh, oh, more notes. From Bill and Ted. Bob and Ted. Hi, Bob. I'm not going to push this stupid button and do your job for you. While you escape. Instead, I've taken the keys to the sub. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your time here and good riddance. Call you Lee Ted. Hiya, Ted. Notice that you removed the keys, too, but I'm worried you won't be able to operate that thing by yourself, so I took the liberty of removing the engine for safety purposes. No thanks needed, Bob. You snake. Fine, I'll meet you at 0500. Bring the map and the engine and push the stupid button, idiot. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Absolutely. See you then. Don't sweat this whole scientific disaster thing. I got an angle on something bigger. Bob. Wait, are you up to a sequel? That'd be cool. I would love okay. to see a sequel to this. I don't know if it's sold well enough, unfortunately, for a sequel. Yeah. And then, in, instead of... Uh, you know, and now it's a giant pumpkin instead of... Uh, instead of coal. Well, fuck. What it is, is actually pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Are we just gonna launch the entire farm? Maybe. How the hell did that, you manage to hide that thing? That's like four rockets mixed with a splash together. Are they going to Cybertron? That would be a crossover I'd love to see. But we need Vladdy for that. You want Vladdy to call Megatron stupid. Idiot. No, you know what? I could see Vladdy and Megatron get along. Vladdy transform. Somebody said that's a nuke. Well, the corn's about to learn a bad lesson. Uh, it does look like a nice CBM, or it's an old fucking, like, rocket that the CCP used to use. 
would make sense. Yeah, we're gonna lift Why the entire fucking facility. Because we've been lifting the entire facility up. Yep, yep, we're pulling it. Yeah! Well, Why do I expect up. it to crash? Due to blow up. Mm -hmm. I run out of fuel and just fall into the cinder. Holy shit. This is fucking dope. What the fuck? Like, like I said, it, 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 if this wasn't a game, it would have been a fucking fantastic movie. The new Pixar film. No, because the, the Corn Queen would have a bigger ass than the Pixar. Okay. I think that that'd probably be, be picked up by DreamWorks if yeah. anybody had to make an enemy. There's, of, there's all of Bob's lobbies. Yep. And the big ass rock that just fell. Yep. Probably all the dirt that was around the facility. It's probably like, it was probably constructed as like a space station just below ground. I mean, it was a secret land. Mm. Subjects, uh, uh, the uh, promised uh, land awaits. I wonder if they need air. Probably oh, not. They don't yes. have any lungs or respiratory so? systems, so. Did you close uh, the fuel hatch? I thought you did. I was having a nap. So was I. Me too. They're just I so. I lovely. knew it's gonna run out of fuel. I fucking knew it's uh, gonna run out of fuel. You are all such idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just got nuked. Everybody wants a popcorn. And we're about to get killed. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa. We did our job, we're fine. Now let's go fix Vladdy. We have exploring to do. And they're all dead. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. I joked yep, about popcorn. the popcorn. Yep, it's a mountain of popcorn. It's all mutated. Created by the following oh, idiots. idiots. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I live the life of a lonely man who's plagued by a brilliant mind. Stung is definitely gonna get a fucking copyright string. No, it's made for the game. We should be fine. I don't know if it is actually, but it did found the sign. I think, I think it is. What's the I think the soundtrack. I sent it to both your guys so we could, if you want to be listen to that like dance party song. Yeah, no, these guys did a great job on this. I gotta find out who did the music. Oh, it, it was made by three people, I think. Yeah. It's the story was, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, Jeff B. Elliott and Brian Gare for the digital soundtrack and compose somebody else on them. I don't know who is singing this, of course, though, but these, these are the guys who composed it. Daniel Ponser did the music? The lead animator needs some love. So much popcorn. I, I know this is just a looping game he's made, but do you have, like, how, how many hours was it in just to, like, make all this floating popcorn? Oh, yeah, no, this, 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 the dude who did all this stuff, all the love for them. This yeah. game is amazing. It keeps things organized. I've got an answer for every problem. A mathematics, scientific method to solve them. If you take a chance on me, baby, I can make you see all the wonders that you ever dreamed in your dreams. Live out the bondage. The artist is Slipknot? No fucking way. What? 
That's what somebody said it says online that the artist, the music is done by Slip. No way. Dude, I did say found the fucking, I found the soundtrack in the vinyl on Steam and it does not list soundtrack, it does not list fucking Slip No, so, hold on. I need to buy the soundtrack. It's on Steam, the soundtrack itself. This? There's no okay, fucking I'll, I'll... way the artist is slipped on. No, it says what somebody managed to get it on their fucking wiki. Oh, this is fucking. How old that it is? It's not. Just no, somebody I, 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 fucked around, that's all it was. Somebody fucked around with the wiki. Because I found, like, yeah, the one who did the oh, raid is, is Gifty, Elliot, Steve D'Angelo, Adam Davlin, Jacob, da Jacob Davlin, and somebody Yeah, it's Nick just somebody Paul. fuck with the, with the, with the, uh, wiki, that's all it was. Kudos to whoever managed to do that, by the way. Red can do so. Slap the cat. They're Canadian. Yeah, I actually just looked it up. You can buy the soundtrack now for like five dollars. I might actually do that because I actually want to give them more money. I never got, I never, I never bought this. I was given this, so I might actually just slip them five bucks and buy the soundtrack because I like the soundtrack for this. Mm. So that was made. Now here's the question: yeah. For our next game, do we want to do a good game? Or a torture game. Well, I mean, we we could just lob a mic directly into 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 the ghost game if you want to, and though no. it's gonna be quite a while. You should really stop pressing Q. Why do you Why keep? You God, it's a Pavlovian thing. When they say don't do it, I do it. What the fuck? Fuck yeah! People want to see Investigator. All right, we're gonna show. I'm gonna show you guys a really awesome game made by friends of the channel. Give me a minute. It's probably gonna be poor. So this <laughs> is a point-and-click game. 